If the Democrats were hoping the hit job on Mar-a-Lago would end Trump's political career, they are sadly mistaken. But maybe, just maybe, they aren't so stupid after all. I'll tell you my theory because it's time for Final Thoughts. So I've had a little time to digest that BS raid on Mar-a-Lago, and I've come to the conclusion the Democrats and rhinos of the right might be even more slimy, calculated, and diabolical than I initially thought. Initially, and still partly do, I thought those behind it were hoping to end Trump's political career and 2024 ambitions, that another scandal would be the kill shot in the mega movement. But after really thinking it over and considering how evil yet incredibly and meticulously calculated the left is, another theory dawned on me. Though they may have been living on the prayer they'd stumble upon and find a mystical smoking gun, I don't think that's why they did it. In fact, I think they knew the unprecedented move would only galvanize more support for Trump, and maybe, just maybe, they're okay with that. Why on earth, you ask? Well, as much as I do firmly believe they're terrified of taking on Trump in 2024, both the Democrats and the rhinos, I believe they are more terrified of this man. Stay with me on this. Up until this raid, it was starting to look like the mega movement was coalescing around Ron DeSantis over Donald Trump. After all, DeSantis is a highly approved of governor, a political bulldog, a strong speaker, and a kick-ass leader without all the baggage, scandal, and controversy of Trump, precisely why he poses a huge threat to Democrats. I'm starting to think the left is actually coaxing Trump into announcing before the midterms so they can use that as a November talking point, and even more so, divide the GOP into two camps, Trump versus DeSantis. That split in our party would be damn near debilitating and is perhaps the only thing that could save the White House for Democrats. Not for Joe, he'll be in the nursing home by then, but likely Gavin Newsom. Are they trying to trick us into infighting by firing up Trump supporters? I think so, and I think many of us are already taking that bait. Look, I'd like to see Ron or Don win in 2024, but I have a strong feeling DeSantis is the shoe in without any liability. It's something to think about, and I say that as a vocal and longtime Trump supporter who will forever be grateful and indebted to Trump for all he did and all he does. I just think we need to play this smart and not fall into any emotional landmines rigged up by the slimy left. Stay vigilant and stay smart, my friends. Those are my final thoughts, and don't forget you can catch the full show on OutKick.com as well as our socials, but more exclusive content on OutKick.com. From Nashville, God bless and take care.